Richard Seaford, Foragers, Farmers, and Fossil Fuels, How Human Values Evolve. Welcome to a thrilling journey through the evolution of human values in our foragers, farmers, and fossil fuels. How Human Values Evolve by Richard Seaford. This book summary will give you an insightful glimpse into how methods of energy capture drive the development of our values, behavior, and society. From the days of early foragers to the modern fossil fuel-based societies, Seaford takes us through an analysis of the values that have shaped human history. Get ready to uncover the connection between energy, societal organization, and the rise and fall of various value systems. Energy Capture and Values Evolution In 1982, an encounter at an archaeological dig site in Greece made the author reflect upon the underlying principles of human values and their development. The author observed that certain human values support a society's survival while others can lead to its decline. He attributed this process to the methods of energy capture, the acquisition of food energy from our surroundings, which drive the evolution of these values. Over time, values that complement the prevalent methods of energy capture become dominant, whereas others fade away. This theory explains the differences in values between societies that depend on farming and those that rely on fossil fuels, as well as the historical development of human values. Foragers, Equality and Violence In the early years of human history, foraging was the primary way of obtaining food, and less than 1% of the population still practices it. Foragers value equality and shun hierarchy, as reflected in their low Gini scores, a measure of wealth inequality, which average 0.25 among various groups. This equality comes from the necessity to share food and the need for a nomadic lifestyle with few possessions. Despite their focus on equality, foragers are known for embracing violence. Foraging societies are inherently more violent, given the lack of centralized governments and the evolutionary favoring of violent individuals in terms of reproduction success. Birth of Farming Societies Our early foraging ancestors spent only a few hours a day searching for food and lived short lives. However, around 700 BC, they began replanting wild wheat and domesticating animals, marking the birth of farming. This shift led to increased energy capture, larger families, and the formation of large-scale societies. These farming societies shared similarities such as ideal locations for agriculture and the use of slaves, irrigation, and gender hierarchy. The lives of our early foraging ancestors were simpler compared to ours, with only a few hours a day spent hunting or gathering food. But, their lives were also significantly shorter living to just 25 years on average. That changed around 7000 BC when foragers began replanting wild wheat and domesticating large animals, ultimately leading to the birth of farming. Farming brought about critical transformations, more energy captured, the growth of families, and the formation of large-scale societies. These societies thrived in areas with fertile lands and abundant resources or where conditions favored agriculture. Soon, farmers discovered the benefits of river-based irrigation, constructing the first cities along the Euphrates, Tigris, and Nile rivers. As a result, farming enabled the capture of up to 10,000 kilocalories per day by 4000 BC in Mesopotamia and Egypt. However, this shift had its drawbacks, farming demanded long, labor-intensive days. A single farmer couldn't manage all the work, leading to larger families with many children who could help with the tasks. But sometimes, even the average seven-child family wasn't enough. Thus, farming societies relied on paid or forced labor, giving rise to the widespread use of slaves. Interestingly, all of these farming societies held some common views, women were to stay home, care for children, while men worked the land. The unwavering consistency of this gender hierarchy is stunning. With slavery, hard labor, and gender discrimination, farming societies seem to have adopted a harsh way of life. Nonetheless, these values and practices continue to shape the world we live in today. Hierarchy and Values in Early Farming Societies 
In early farming societies, life was largely dictated by a hierarchical structure and an emphasis on hard work. The rise of elites, religion, and a ruling class significantly reduced violence, promoting the success of business and labor. However, this social stratification also led to gender inequalities, as men sought to protect their material inheritance primarily through women's subservience. Envision life as an early farmer in a fertile region like Mesopotamia, where you would wake up every day and work tirelessly, interacting with limited social circles. This structured lifestyle heavily influenced their deeply held values. Early agricultural societies were characterized by well-defined hierarchies that viewed violence less favorably than their foraging ancestors. When a farming society's energy capture exceeded 10,000 kilocalories per day, distinct elites emerged, managing or controlling the community in markets. The highest authority was often a godlike figure, given power by supposed divine endorsement. Through religious beliefs, farming societies validated these hierarchies, and the populace largely acquiesced to a Gini score of 0.45, meaning 10% of the people controlled around 80% of the wealth. Interestingly, the establishment of a ruling class held a silver lining, reduced violence. A supreme authoritative figure effectively deterred individuals from conflict, fostering peace and safeguarding the labor process. This, in turn, facilitated business and further reinforced labor as the backbone of these farming societies, with farmers striving to produce both sufficient food and sellable goods. As material wealth epitomized survival, it was crucial to pass these resources on to their children. Yet, this need for generational security exacerbated gender disparities. Men, intent on ensuring their offspring were their rightful heirs, placed heightened importance on women's virginity, consequently relegating them to even more subservient roles. Farming values dominated the global landscape for nearly 9,000 years, shaping societies and their belief systems. However, the introduction of fossil fuels disrupted this long-standing social order, leading to a paradigm shift in the foundations of human societies. Powering Progress with Fossil Fuels In the late 17th century, the discovery of coal as an energy source sparked a revolution, leading to the rise of fossil fuel societies. The steam engine, invented in 1776, further accelerated the world's transition into the industrial age. This era saw rapid advancements in technology, innovation, production, and population growth, ultimately raising living standards for millions of people across the globe. When coal miners in Northwest Europe realized that coal could generate energy, they kickstarted a series of remarkable innovations. This newfound energy source was initially used to power engines that pumped water from mines, facilitating deeper coal extraction. Consequently, the abundant coal supply powered various cutting-edge inventions, including the steam engine in 1776. The steam engine had a profound impact on modern life, forever altering the Western world's economic and social landscape. By 1914, Western countries with fossil fuel-powered societies controlled 84% of the Earth's land mass. These societies were driven by their ability to capture enormous amounts of energy through inventions, which in turn, led to increased industrial production and economic growth. This growth created a feedback loop, as improved production levels resulted in higher profits for factories. Higher profits enabled factories to pay workers more, luring farmers to cities, thereby increasing urban worker populations and fostering even greater productivity. This expanding cycle ultimately sowed the seeds for massive market growth, leading to affordable mass-produced goods and an unprecedented improvement in the overall standard of living. Following coal's initial impact, energy capture methods continued evolving with new sources such as hydrocarbons and extraction techniques like deep-sea drilling. In fact, daily energy capture skyrocketed from 38,000 kilocalories in the early days of coal to 230,000 kilocalories by the 1970s. This energy boom gave birth to new businesses, financial institutions, and infrastructures that could harness and utilize these vast energy reserves. Fossil fuels not only catalyzed economic growth but also had significant ramifications on the world's population. 
From a populace of 1 billion in 1800, the Earth's inhabitants increased to 6 billion by 2000. People today are taller, healthier, and enjoy longer lifespans than their ancestors, all thanks to the fossil fuel revolution. Fossil fuels foster equality. The widespread use of fossil fuels has led to a more equal and peaceful world, as seen in the significant global support for democracy, gender equality, and pacifism. Since the 18th century, fossil fuel societies have promoted higher wages, benefits, and less stratified labor, resulting in a globally lower Gini score. Furthermore, Improved health due to fossil fuels has led to reduced pressure on women to have multiple children, which in turn has allowed them to participate in the labor market. Additionally, fossil fuel societies often embrace secularism, leading to a reduction in hierarchical rule and an increase in democracy and market efficiency. While some nations, like China, have experienced negative aspects, such as environmental issues and corruption, the overall trend towards equality and peace still remains intact in fossil fuel-powered societies. Adapting Values in a Changing World Throughout history, societies have evolved as they progress through technological advancements, forming new values in the process. As countries like China and India develop, some believe they will adopt values similar to those of the West, such as freedom and democracy. However, others argue that global power shifts could lead to the West becoming chinese feed. By 2103, the world could change drastically, and technology could empower everyone, resulting in a shift in societal values. Regardless of each theory's accuracy, one certainty remains, the values of 2103 will undoubtedly differ from those of today, adapting to the needs of the humans thriving in that era. As we look into the future, it's critical to consider how our values will adapt to a world that might be vastly different from the one we know today. One theory, dubbed the soothing scenario, suggests that as nations like China and India continue to gain power and influence, they will embrace values such as freedom and democracy more extensively. This theory gains merit when looking at the remarkable advancements toward liberalism made by Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan since 1945. However, there are alternative theories about the future. Some believe that Asian countries have become more westernized primarily due to the West's current dominance on the global stage. If the balance of power were to shift eastward, Western nations might experience Chineseification, adopting Eastern values. This idea also holds credibility, as projections indicate that Eastern development could surpass Western development by 2103. The rapid pace of continuing global development will likely bring significant changes by 2103. Conservative estimates predict substantial increases in energy capture, massively populated cities, and longer life expectancies in developed countries. These advancements could lead to a society powered by vast amounts of energy, diminishing the need for hierarchy and violence. However, these dramatic changes hinge on ensuring that technology is accessible to all, rather than a select few powerful individuals. While some or all of these predictions may prove incorrect, one thing is clear, the human values of 2103 will greatly differ from those we hold today. Society will evolve and adopt the values necessary to thrive in that future world. As we reach the end of our voyage through human history, we learn that the way we capture energy has had a remarkable impact on our values, behavior, and society. From the gender and wealth hierarchies of foraging and farming societies to the relative peace and equality of fossil fuel-based societies, the methods of energy capture that have dominated each era have significantly shaped human values. While the future remains uncertain, technological advancements will continue to play a crucial role in how our values evolve. Whether we move towards a more soothing scenario defined by global equality and democracy, or experience a power struggle between East and West, adapting and embracing values that aid our survival and prosperity remains at the core of human evolution.